I'm Jessica Thorne and I'm from Durham. I rang the hospital because I'd been having some reduced movements with my little boy. Um, I'd been driving home from work the day before and had to brake sharply. Um, and I felt him move initially then, but when I went home, I didn't um, feel him the rest of the evening. I went for a walk and had a bit of pain, but kind of thought nothing of it. Went to bed and when he was the, usually the most active, didn't feel anything. And I remembered I had a leaflet from my 20 week scan that had a number on and I was like, I'm just gonna ring. And they said to me, get yourself along the hospital, but like take a second to calm down. And it all kind of happened very quickly from that point. So I, I got to the hospital late at eight o'clock and by 10 a.m. my little boy was born by emergency section. <laughs> He was on um, some oxygen for about five days and he got transferred up to the RVI for a little bit. But after that, he was just feeding and growing and he got let out of hospital after five and a half weeks. So he was home before he should have been 36 weeks. My advice to expectant mothers is just call in. Um, if you think that your movements have changed or reduced or it's just different to how it usually is, because everyone would much rather you get checked out and get that peace of mind and hopefully everything turns out to be fine but also you're better off acting quickly because it does turn out to be fine if you act quickly most of the time and if I hadn't acted the way I had it could have been very different for me and my little boy.